So there we have the home. And then if you're just doing a, a mock-up website design, then if you just go to um, this website here, then you can generate your own lorem ipsum text basically that you can just use as a fill. So if you just highlight that and paste it into another text box here, so and then just select all and drag the size down. You can just yeah wherever it needs to be just press the enter and I'm not really concentrating so this is all just going to be cut off at random points in the middle of the words but that doesn't really matter for this purpose um, <clears throat> yep so you've got all that and then if you select it all you can just make it a bit bigger so it fills the whole thing and I just need to make that a little bit smaller so, 25 pixels 27 yeah, that'll do so there I've got the text of the website and then if I just move that down a little bit um, so that's good there that's all perfect and say you wanted an image to then go into your file. Uh, if you just open up the image, uh, in this case I'm going to do the logo of my website which is tutovids and that is here. So say you wanted to insert a logo or something you could just drag that in there and size it down. So just make sure I'm on that layer with select tool transform tool selected and then you could just drag that really anywhere and then if you just click the tick in the corner and there you have it so if we go view and then show and uncheck the guidelines you can really see what, what it's going to look like there so uh, if you're happy with your design then um, if you then go up to the file menu you see it clicks it says save for web and devices and that's what we're going to use but before you do that you have to slice it so that you know which parts are the buttons and which parts are going to be links so if we just go back and turn the guides on it'll make it easier for us to then select them so you just dr drag out over a button or something that you need to separate uh, and it will automatically snap to the grids like so uh, and if you want you can cut out the text the, the only downside with this way of um, doing a website is that the text will not be sort of copy and pasteable, it won't be editable which is only a slight problem but it can be a bit annoying and then just separate the logo here so then if you do file save for web and devices again it will bring up this window here and make sure you have JPEG selected and make sure you have 70 or lower otherwise your website will take a long time to load and you want it to load as quick as possible but make sure it's not too low um, so the quality is lost uh, so once you're happy with all the settings and everything's okay if you just click save it will ask you where you want to save it and I'm just going to create a new folder on the desktop here called YouTube test site and as long as you have HTML and images selected from the list here um, then it will work so if you just put it into that folder and click save then it will save it for you and it will automatically close when it's done so if you just minimize this here you've got 
YouTube test folder here. Uh, and here is the website at the moment. It doesn't look very good at the moment. It's not terribly exciting. So we're going to need to do something editing in Dreamweaver. So if we close that up again and make sure you have the file selected and in the open drop down menu select Adobe Dreamweaver. I've already got Dreamweaver open here so it won't take me long to open it. Um, and then what you're going to have to do is if you select these buttons, because you sliced them, they're all separate images now. Uh, Dreamweaver has also automatically selected other parts like the, the sides and the top uh, automatically, which it wouldn't have done normally. Um, but because we did that slicing earlier, uh, it means that it's already been cut up for us like this. So to start with, we're going to select the home button, and in the link panel, because I have nothing else saved in this site, I'm just going to type in uh, the URL of apple.com homepage, which is just apple.com. Um, and then, because it's then put a big blue border around it as it's a link, we need to go border and just type in zero, uh, and it will get rid of that border. And then, if we do the same for this so HTTP colon slash slash dot com slash about now I'm not sure if that actually exists but we're just going to do it for the demo anyway and then the contact same thing slash contact and zero. Okay, so then the next one, videos. We'll just do um, their YouTube channel for the videos. So youtube.com slash apple. And then again, select border and nothing. And because usually the logo of a website links back to the home page, We'll put uh, http colon slash slash www.apple.com again um, just for, the, for these purposes and then zero for the border. Okay, so that's it all done there. Uh, all we need to do now is obviously save it. And the last thing is to select the whole thing and select align center. And that will ensure that on any browser, any computer, it's always going to be in the center. And that's it for the moment. So if we just save it and preview it here, and you'll see that it all comes up nice here. And if we click Home, it will take us to the Apple home page. And the About takes us to the Apple info page. Contact takes us to the contacting page and videos takes us to Apple's YouTube channel and then the logo here also takes you back to the Apple home page so there's one last thing that we need to do just to make it look a little bit better which is to go on to page properties and just select a color that fits in with your scheme so in this case I'm just going to choose a very light grey and then if I save that and preview it, it'll just look at a, a little bit better, like it's going to fit in more. And that's it. So we've successfully created a layout using Photoshop, and then we've exported it as HTML and images, and been successfully able to import it into Dreamweaver and add the links. And then obviously you could go on to code everything like this. Um, and add in CSS style sheets and other stuff. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you.